Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Aaron from Mapit Accountancy. So we're going to have a look over the next few videos at various subjects to start to give you an idea if you're choosing a subject, which ones you might want to go for. Also another way to look at them. So I want you to take a few things from what we do in these sessions. Number one, I want you to realize that you can look at these subjects in a different way that you must start to understand the linkages between the different syllabus areas within a subject because that will really help you to understand it. And I need you to think about how we use different ways of learning here. So I'm going to put some drawings, some simple things up on the board and I want you to think about how that helps you to learn because the mind remembers a story much better than it remembers just facts written down on a page. So I'm going to try and put an overview of the syllabus for F9, first of all, into a bit of a story, link it together, and then you'll find that it's much easier for you to memorize what's on the syllabus and to realize how it's all interlinked and therefore make your answers of per perhaps theory questions much better in that way. So, F9 is often a subject that students don't like because it's not standard, so there are different ways you can do things. So I'm going to change it from something that students don't like into something that everybody likes. So everybody likes ice cream. That's what that is. It's an ice cream. It is the F9 ice cream. So it's a nice sunny day. Here in the UK, we've been getting lots of sun recently. What else would you do on a nice sunny day except get yourself an ice cream? So looking at this ice cream that we have, for F9, this ice cream represents shareholder wealth. And the core of F9 is how to increase shareholder wealth. So we want to make our ice cream bigger and bigger and bigger and get shareholder wealth increased because they own the business we need to try and give them some return. So that's dividends and share price growth, really, is what we want to give them. We're the managers of the business, F9, financial management. So what are we gonna to do to grow that ice cream? Well, F9 is often thought of as a triangle. That's why we're looking at this cone. And the core areas of the F9 syllabus are investments, which is one of the key aspects, financing and then dividend policy and those are often looked at in a triangle which is why we're doing this because they're so interlinked why are they interlinked well because you can't make investments unless you've got the financing to do it you can't pay out a dividend unless you've had successful investments you have to decide whether or not to pay a dividend or should you use some of the money for your financing purposes. So that's the core of F9. That's it. It's all interlinked. So for example, you'll be looking at under investments. You'll be looking at how to appraise those investments, like an investment in a new project, a new product, something like that. So you'll use things like NPV, IRR to decide whether or not to do those investments. Linked to that, you'll look at lease versus buy when you're looking at machinery. Should you lease it? Should you buy it? Equivalent annual cost, another thing you'll look at under that. So investments are what should the business do in order to increase shareholder wealth. The financing then is whether you use debt or equity to finance it. How do you raise debt? How do you raise equity? What are the benefits of using each? The gearing, etc. Related to that will be your weighted average cost of capital, the split between debt and equity. And remember, your weighted average cost of capital you'll use to discount for your NPV and IRR. Again, another linkage between the two. Now, with your dividend policy, we mostly learn the theories involved. But also you need to decide whether to keep the dividend money within the business or pay it out because then you might need to take on more debt. And the key here is that all of these are interlinked 
And that's why they keep them together on this F9 syllabus, so that they keep that linkage. And often questions in the exam will relate these, and you'll have to discuss different aspects of them together. So make sure that you understand that linkage. Now, of course, the problem with ice cream on a sunny day is that the ice cream can melt. So that would reduce shareholder wealth. And one of the main reasons will be this sun. And up here, we'll call this foreign exchange risk because that's something else that we look at on the F9 syllabus. How that foreign exchange risk and interest rate risk can reduce your ice cream, can reduce that uh, shareholder wealth that we're trying to create. Well, what would we do if we have the sun melting our ice cream? Well, of course, what else would you do? You get an umbrella. Okay, so you get an umbrella. There's our umbrella. What's that gonna do? Well, it's gonna shield the ice cream from the sun. What's that umbrella? Well, that's hedging. And we look at various methods for hedging foreign exchange risk. We look at money market hedging, uh, forward rates, futures. We also look at options. All of those methods to hedge your risk to reduce the risk of this reducing shareholder wealth. And that's it. For F9, that's what you look at, how to increase your shareholder wealth and how to protect it from the risk out there for the business. Now, what you'll find is if you use a diagram like that and think about it in the picture, you'll find it much easier to remember than if I give you a list of investments, financing, dividend policy and foreign exchange risk and asked you to discuss it. Well, now you can go, oh, well, I know that because we've got our ice cream cone, we've got the three aspects. So I can remember those investments, financing, dividend policy. I know they're all linked, so I can discuss that in the exam. And I don't want my ice cream to reduce, so there must be some risk there. I'll reduce that through hedging. Now you can use that method to revise. If you've got a topic you're struggling with, a theory topic, draw a diagram and we'll try and look at some of this as we go through and do other short sessions because this will really help you to study and help you to remember different aspects of the syllabus. So if you've got any comments or questions, post them down below. And if you're thinking of studying F9 this term, that is what it's all about.